Extra quiet out here this morning. Wow, wow, wow. the gondola. Let's see how long it takes to do one lap. Hello, I'm your drop-in host Rose and on today's episode of the drop-in we are out here on Aspen Mountain and we're gonna do a little test. Uh, people being curious how long it takes to do one T to B on Aspen Mountain. Is it quick? Is it slower than expected? Is it faster than expected? So in this episode of the drop-in, we're gonna do the work and we're gonna find out. We are measuring from the time you step into the gondola to the time you get to the bottom of the mountain and unclip from your skis. Uh, the reason we're not doing it from the time that you get into line or anything is because lines change on any given day. For instance, this morning there was no line. There was one other person in the queue with me who walked right onto a gondola. Um, I walked right onto a gondola. So, you know, keep that in mind as some variables that your timing could be changed depending on how long or sh how short the line is. So what's new on the mountains here this week? Um, we are looking at only, we are down to two mountains left. It's the end of the season, y'all. So Aspen Highlands closed on Sunday and then we just got Aspen and Snowmass left in the mix. Snowmass closes on the 17th and Aspen Mountain closes on the 24th. Let's get out there, let's get after it, and let's see how long does it truly take to go T to B on Aspen Mountain. All right, walked out of the gondola right at 9.16. Currently still 9.16. Gonna put on my gloves as we get going and get down the mountain. here at the drop-in. On Wednesday, we've got the final takeover of the season from our favorites, Allie and Sarah, over at Snowmass. So they're gonna be taking us around on Instagram. So make sure you're following at the drop-in Aspen on Instagram to see all of that fun. Then on Friday, you've got Kelsey coming at you. And then we're into the final week of the ski season here in Aspen Snowmass and the final week of the drop-in. Got Spar all to myself. Love it. Also me again popping back in here to say, did you guys check out that drop-in we did on Friday with Tony Trees? Um, if not, you should absolutely check it out. It's one of our favorites from the season. We did a bull hike with Tony. He is an adaptive athlete. Uh, it is his first season here in Aspen Snowmass living here. And he got, not only did he get a hundred days, but he challenged himself to do his first bull hike ever. He only has one leg, so, um, you know, his, Bull hike looked different than other people's, uh, but he invited us to join him and we are so grateful for that. It was so fun, it was such a great experience. Um, and I highly suggest you check out that video. Just Google the drop in Tony Trees. You should be able to find it. All right, less me talking, more me skiing. <laughs> Unclipped, and it is 9.22. Made it to the bottom from stepping onto the gondola to clipping out of my skis, 22 minutes. Now, I didn't try and, you know, straight line down the mountain. I took some turns because I figured, you know, if you only got one lap, you want to take some turns, carve a little, not totally rush so i'm sure you could do it a little bit faster if you so choose thank you for dropping in with me i appreciate you sticking with me for this kind of silly little episode see you next time